Testing, testing. Can you hear me? Testing, testing. Testing, test. Can you guys hear me? Is that okay? All right. Can we be a little bit louder? Is that possible? A little bit louder. Okay, welcome to our class of 2023 senior award ceremony. Welcome, welcome. I sincerely want to thank all of you for being here this evening as we celebrate the achievements of our Mount Sac Early College Academy graduates. My name is Dr. Ryan McDonald, and it's been an honor to serve as the principal of Mount Sac ECA. Before we continue our program, I'd like to introduce some special attendees this evening. From the West Covina Unified School District, we have Juanita Cruz, Vice President. <laughs> Joe Magallanes, Clerk. <laughs> Dr. Rose Lopez, Board Member. And our Superintendent, Dr. Emmy Flores. Thank you all for being here tonight. And from the Mount Sac College Board of Trustees, we have Gary Chow, President. And Juan Mendoza, the student trustee. Thank you for being here. I want to thank a few individuals for their efforts in putting on tonight's event. Tomoko Price, our assistant principal. Claire Contreras, your counselor. <laughs> Tiffany Wilcox, our activities director. And all the members of our school operations team. And tonight's event has been an, uh, a collaboration, so I want to thank our valued partners in dual enrollment for offering to help coordinate this event. I want to, Marlene Holt, director of dual enrollment. Marlene, if you could wave. And Heather Perno, Program Specialist in Dual Enrollment. Thank you for being here. And we also have the Dean of Instruction, Sylvia Ruano. Sylvia, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you to Event Services for their technical assistance. We have many community partners who we will introduce tonight. Thank you for being here to present um, awards. And finally, thank you to our own faculty and staff for being here tonight. It's a joy to have you all. So let's all stand, please. And if you can face the flag that's up here on your left, and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance with your right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, you may be seated. And I, at this time, please welcome our activities director, Tiffany Wilcox, to the stage. All right, good evening, class of 2023 and guests. I am so honored to be here to celebrate each of you and recognize all of your vast achievements. I'm so proud to be a part of your journey and thank you for sharing your light with me each and every single day. Uh, without further ado, let's get this party started. Okay, we will now begin the presentation of awards. Students, I'm gonna give you some directions. I'm a teacher by training, so, so I can't help it, okay? So when your name is called, make your way to the aisle, which is on your left. So point to where you're gonna walk, students. That way, all right, you're gonna walk out that way. You're gonna come up these steps right here in front of me. So come to the front of the auditorium, up these steps. You're gonna get your award from one of us next to you here. So you get your award, maybe a sash, maybe a cord. We'll see what it is, all right? You'll get your award. You're gonna walk here to the middle. All right, and so we're gonna pause, just look out. Family, that's a time to take a picture. We're not gonna like pose after every one, so students, just a quick turn and pose and keep walking. If there's a large group, we'll tell you that we're gonna keep you like up here in groups of 20 for a group photo, and then you'll, you'll exit down by Dr. Flores. So Dr. Flores, wave over there. So you're gonna exit those steps there, make your way back up behind over there and back into your aisle, so it's a nice flow of traffic, okay? Um, and at this time, we're gonna celebrate Lots of scholarships, a lot of money's been given out tonight, so we're excited about the money, all right? So we are going to start, so please join me in welcoming Edwina Clark from the Women's Club of West Covina to present a scholarship. Welcome, Ms. Clark.
Thank you, Dr. McConnell. And congratulations to all of the graduating seniors. You've all done a wonderful job. The West Covina Women's Club was formed some 65 years ago with uh, most of our focus being on coming up with scholarship money for the students in our community. I have good news and bad news. The bad news is our club is disbanding as of today after 65 years of service. The good news is we have to clean out our bank account. <laughs> Our committee this year voted with approval from our executive board that every student who applied would get a scholarship. <laughs> we wish you all the best, whatever the future may hold for you. But please remember, remember the community you came from and give some volunteer time to that community. We need your help. Sadly, the reason we're disbanding, we're running out of people to give their time to help. COVID hit us very hard. It also hit you hard with the way you were educated and also with some inability to go out and do some community events. But our scholarship committee focuses on what the student has done as well as their classwork. So you don't have to be a 4.5 to collect a check from us. Sometimes they are, but they've done something else in the community as well. I would like to invite to the stage Ms. Yusinda Lopez. And while she's making her way up here, I will tell the rest of you, she is the only applicant from Mount Sac Academy. She is receiving $2,000 from us. All right, thank you, Ms. Clark. We appreciate you being here this evening. Thank you. At this time, please join me in welcoming Joe Gibbs from the West Covina Fire Association and some of his colleagues to present another scholarship. Round of applause for our fire department. I don't follow direction very well. <laughs> How are you guys doing? <laughs> See, that's why you need to follow directions. Uh, congratulations to all the students today. Uh, we are with the West Covina Fire Department. Um, what we've done is I started a fundraiser last year. We did a softball tournament slash chili cook-off. And we had fire departments from all over the pretty much cities and surrounding cities, Pomona, Riverside. Uh, everybody pitched in. Uh, we had a chili cook-off. Um, and we raised an, enough money to create scholarships for West Covina Unified. So this year we were able to create two scholarships for whoever applied. So this year we had a winner from Mount Sac College Academy and also from uh, where was that? West Queen High School. Thank you. <laughs> I can remember. It was two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. <laughs> so uh, we just two, this year we've uh, actually created the scholarship for a first responder's child. So next year we are going to open it up to everyone that can apply, but this year we kind of condensed it just to see if we actually got the applicants, and this year we did. And we gave it to a very special student, and we'd like to welcome Jessica Sanabria for the scholarship. <laughs> this is a fake check, that's not the real check. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we apologize, we do have to leave. We are on duty, so we have to go back to our station. So you guys enjoy the rest of the night. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
We hope it's a calm night for you all. Thank you for being here. Calm night, good vibes. All right, this, this time, please join me in welcoming Sarah Carrillo, the president of our Wolfpack Academic Booster Club, that's like our parent association, to present certificates and checks to winners of our annual essay contest. Come on up, Ms. Carrillo. Give a round of applause. Good evening. So I would just like to, first of all, thank all the parents who joined the Wolfpack Academic Booster Club. This helped us um, raise the funds to provide these um, cash awards to the seniors for the writing contest that we did sponsor. So the first um, one we're gonna give is the third place with $200, and that would be to Justin Mayer Lago. Congratulations. And then the second place for $300 cash prize is Michaela Chung. <laughs> and then the first prize would be $500 cash prize to Jessica Santaberia. And I would just like to also thank um, the judges, which was our very own um, Jose Magianes, who in the district. <laughs> One of our Wolfpac board members, Olivia Pagan. <laughs> and then also one of our teachers on staff, Mr. Nichols. And thank you all again. All right, congratulations. This year, we were blessed to receive a generous donation from the Lopsy family to begin an endowment scholarship for our students through the Mount Sac College Foundation. For the next 30 years, we will be able to award three scholarships each year of $1,500 to our graduates. To help present these awards, we have partners from the Mount Sac Foundation and Alumni Association. We have Bill Lambert, the director. Come on up. And Marissa Fierro, Director, Development and Alumni Relations. Thank you for being here. <laughs> and so for these awards, students applied through the Mount Sac Foundation Scholarship page. There was a panel of uh, readers from the foundation and from our school and from the family, all through a rubric, and three of students were picked for these awards, and we're very excited for them. And on Saturday, they're gonna go to another award ceremony and meet the family and receive their, their check. So you gotta go. And then, uh, <laughs> and to celebrate your, your accomplishments. We're really proud of you. Our first award for achievement in science, um, technology, engineering, and math goes to Michaela Chung. <laughs> Our second award for achievement in humanities goes to Maya Franco. Run for that money, run for it. <laughs> and then our third award for overall academic achievement goes to Jacinda Lopez. Congratulations to our LAPSI recipients. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Please join me in welcoming our assistant principal, Tomoko Price, to present a scholarship from the West Covina Leadership Association. Hello. Uh, the, the West Covina Unified School District Administrators put together a scholarship for students, and I am happy to announce Jacinda Lopez is the winner of this scholarship. Thank you. 
We should just get back to it. <laughs> don't go far. And this is the check right here, so don't lose that. Yeah. Congratulations. Please join me in welcoming our school counselor, Claire Contreras, to the stage to present our final scholarship awards. Hi, everyone. So I'm going to present the Teachers Association of West Covina Club Association um, $500 scholarship to Nicholas Caston. And in recognizing and, and receiving member of the education, this is a mouthful, but it's worth it, 500 bucks, Education Award Scholarship from School's First Federal Credit Union for $500, Michaela Chung. <laughs> An SAT scholarship for $1,000, Katrina Miller. And one more for Katrina, the Louisville Regional Scholarship of $10,000. Okay, so we're gonna continue recognizing students who have earned now service awards with other prestigious recognition from outside organizations and the California Department of Education. So, uh, first is Michaela Chung for the Girl Scout Gold Award. And Isabel and Ciso for the Girl Scout Gold Award. And now for the Lions Heart and Key Club President Volunteer Service Award for Bronze is Maya Franco. The Habitat for Humanity Community Builder Award for Isaac Lickman. Board's National Hispanic Recognition Program for Excellence in Academic Achievement, Emily Martinez. <laughs> and a commendation for a National Merit Scholar for Ethan Nguyen. Congratulations to our service winners. All right, students, go ahead and head back. So our next award is a special recognition that only one student has earned tonight. This award is for lifetime perfect attendance from kindergarten through 12th grade. And he will wear this purple cord at graduation, and this award is for LJ Pat. I'm gonna bring this down to my level because I might be up here for a minute. Our next uh, set of awards is a large group of students who have earned the state seal of biliteracy. These students have shown proficiency in both English language arts and Spanish through grades, courses taken, and the CASP testing. These students get to wear a teal and white cord at graduation. 
We're going to call you up in groups <laughs> because there's that many students. Um, so you're going to move down to the end, and then we'll excuse you for the next group. Okay? So first one, Nathan Alquisiera. <laughs> Natalie Berganza Rodriguez. <laughs> Francine Calanta. Javier Camacho. Nicholas Caston. Michaela Chung. Paulina Davalos. <laughs> Isabel Enciso. <laughs> Sophia Figueroa. <laughs> Maya Franco. Nicholas Galicia. <laughs> Diana Gracia. We're still going. Alanis Guzman. Okay, we're gonna pause for a picture. Congratulations. <laughs> to continue with biliteracy, we have Army Michaela Hermageno. <laughs> Melvin Hernandez. <laughs> Maya Hoyle. Joseph Jaime. <laughs> Nicole Lee. <laughs> Isaac Lickman. <laughs> Triana Lamon. <laughs> Alex Lopez. <laughs> Gerard Lopez. <laughs> Jacinda Lopez. <laughs> We're going to pause there. <laughs> Congratulations, students. Angel Mancias. Emily Martinez. Justin Luke Mailrago. Cassandra Mesa. Congratulations. Katrina Miller. Marcus Miner. Asrar Mohammed. 
Valeria Moreno. Ethan Nguyen. Jaden Nguyen. Tyler Nunez. Samantha Ordaz. Lauren Pate. LJ Pat. We're going to pause for a photo. Congratulations, students. <laughs> Continued for biliteracy, Luis Perez. <laughs> Hannah Ramirez. <laughs> Delilah Rangel. Brittany Ruvokaba. <laughs> Jessica Sanabria. <laughs> Sydney Sherrod. <laughs> Annie Tran. Viridiana Trujillo. <laughs> Annette Tucker. <laughs> Jeanette Tucker. <laughs> Abigail Vargas. <laughs> Eliza Vasquez. Lynette Vasquez. <laughs> Melissa Wawawita. <laughs> and Isabella Zapeta. Congratulations to our students for biliteracy. <laughs> All right, another big group, not quite as large, but still pretty big. Our next set of awards is a large group of students who have earned the Golden State Seal for Achievement in Core Content Classes, Math, Science, English Language Arts, and History, as demonstrated through grades and CASP testing. A merit seal would be added to their diploma. Students will call you up in groups. Nathan Alquisiera. <laughs> Javier Camacho. Nicholas Gaston. <laughs> Michaela Chung. <laughs> Paulina Davalos. <laughs> Isabel Inciso. <laughs> Sergio Escobar Sanchez. Sophia Figueroa. 
Maya Franco. Nicholas Galicia. Genesee Garcia. Diana Gracia. Alanis Guzman. We're going to pause for a photo. <laughs> Congratulations, students. Okay, to continue, Army Michaela Hermageno. Melvin Hernandez. Maya Hoyle. Joseph Jaime. Nicole Lee. Isaac Lickman. Triana Lamon. Alex Lopez. Jacinda Lopez. Emily Martinez. Justin Luke Mayorago. We're going to take a break for a photo op. Congratulations, students. OK, you can be seated. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> to continue, Katrina Miller. <laughs> Asrar Mohammed. <laughs> Arif Moreno. Ethan Nguyen. Jaden Nguyen. Lauren Pate. LJ Pat. Luis Perez. Victoria Ramirez. Jessica Sanabria. Sydney Sherrod. Brianne Amber Soriano. Tran. <laughs> Viridiana Trujillo. <laughs> Abigail Vargas. <laughs> and Isabella Zapeta. <laughs> Congratulations to our Golden Merit Seal Diploma students. Photo, one last round of applause. 
All right, you may be seated. It's a nice problem to have so many awards for those categories, so congratulations. A lot of smarties here, uh, congrats. We will continue with recognizing students who have participated in our signature programs for at least three years. Please welcome Joseph Giannotti to present an award for academic decathlon. Good evening, everyone. My name is Mr. Giannotti. I'm the physics teacher and academic decathlon coach. Uh, for those of you who don't know, real quick, the Academic Decathlon is a rigorous competition of 10 events, seven subject tests, an essay, a speech, and an interview. Team members are selected based on their deep commitment to learning and teamwork, as demonstrated by us meeting five hours a week after school for five months straight in preparation for the competition. This year, we had one senior on the team. This student is one of the founding members of our decathlon team who attended every meeting they could, won seven medals in our first year, and is just an all-around amazing student and person. And so it is my honor to present the Academic Decathlon Award to Nathan al -Kassira. So eSports is um, a big part of our school culture, and I'm gonna recognize two students who have been in the program for either three or more years. And so I wanna give, Nathan, don't go far. Nathan Alquisera. <laughs> and also on the team for three or more years, Joseph Jaime. Please welcome Courtney Bell to present awards for Journalism and Yearbook. I have the wonderful task of presenting awards to four students today. Not only do I have the privilege of being the advisor for the media program here at Mecca, but also for the Quill and Scroll Honor Society for Scholastic Journalism. These four students have earned high distinctions as journalists on our campus. They have worked long hours to plan, interview, research, photograph, revise, edit, and publish uh, high, school, high quality journalism for our school. All four of them have served as leaders for both our online news and our yearbook staffs. I cannot be prouder to be able to show them some appreciation for their hard work. It is my great honor to present honor cords and patches to the following students. Paulina Davalos. <laughs> Isaac Lickman. <laughs> Hannah Ramirez. And lastly, Abigail Vargas. All right, thank you. you, may take your seats. And please welcome Tiffany Wilcox to present awards for ASB and peer leadership. All right, thank you. I am here to honor our seniors who have participated in student leadership for three years or more. These following three students have demonstrated unwavering commitment to the betterment of our campus culture by creating some truly awesome memories. You know I had to throw out Nau in there. The first student I'd like to recognize is, believe it or not, Jacinda Lopez. <laughs> oh, sorry. The next student I'd like to recognize is Maya Franco.
And the last student I'd like to recognize is the only senior to have served in the associated student body for all four years of his high school career, Melvin Hernandez. <laughs> okay. Thank you for your service. Our school and community wouldn't be the same without your cre creativity and steadfast leadership. Thank you all. All right, round of applause. You can take your seats. Thank you. So our next set of awards are for students who have been inducted into various honor societies based on GPA and service hours. We will begin with Savannah Sprigg for Mu Alpha Theta, which is for the Math Honor Society, followed by Gabe Nichols for the National Honor Society. Round of applause. Okay. And students, because this is a large group as well, as you take your picture, or as you get your award, pose there for a picture and keep going. We're just going to keep this up. Going a little bit faster, okay? So no, no big group photos on this one, all right? Savannah, turn it over to you. Thank you. Thank you. All righty. Good, good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Savannah Sprague, and I am a math teacher on campus, the speech and debate teacher coach, and then I'm also the advisor of Mu Alpha Theta. Um, I'm so honored tonight. I feel like I'm like leaning over. Um, I'm so honored tonight to um, celebrate 48 seniors in Mu Alpha Theta, which is a national mathematics honor society. So it just warms my math heart to recognize so many of our students. And I know you don't all want to pursue a career in math, but just know that I think all of you as mathematicians in my mind, and I hope you go forth into the world and do great things. So without further ado, I'm going to start reading off certificates. All righty, so first up, Nathan Alcacera. Yeah. Javier Camacho. Nicholas Castan. Michaela Chung. Paulina Davalos. <laughs> Isabel Inciso. <laughs> Sophia Figueroa. <laughs> Maya Franco. <laughs> Nicholas Galicia. Hennessy Garcia. <laughs> Stuart Garcia Montesayo. <laughs> Diana Gracia. <laughs> Jonathan Guerrero. <laughs> Alanis Guzman. Army, Michaela Hermagino. <laughs> Melvin Hernandez. <laughs> Maya Hoyle. <laughs> Isaac Lickman. <laughs> Triana Limon. Alex Lopez, <laughs> Jacinda Lopez, <laughs> Angel Mancinas, <laughs> Emily Martinez, <laughs> Justin Luke Mayoralgo. Katrina Miller. <laughs> Azrar Mohammed. <laughs> Arif Moreno. <laughs> Ethan Nguyen. <laughs> Jaden Nguyen. <laughs> <laughs> 
Tyler Nunez. Samantha Ordaz. LJ Pat. Luis Perez. Maya Quintero. Eric Ramirez. Victoria Ramirez. Jessica Sanabria. Sydney Sherrod. Brianne Soriano. Annie Tran. Abigail Vargas. Eliza Vasquez. Mia Bella Velasco. Melissa Warwita. And last, but certainly not least, we have Isabella Cepeda. Please join me in giving a round of applause to all our Muapa Theta seniors. I would also like to give a quick shout out to my senior officers, Katrina Miller, Michaela Chong, and Army Hermajono for just helping me with this organization this year. So thank you so much. And now Mr. Nichols will present uh, NHS National Honor Society. Oh, I'm Mr. Nichols. I am half the history department at our school. I'm also the National Honor Society uh, advisor. Uh, National Honor Society, we recognize or it's students who have a 3.5 GPA average. Uh, they also have to participate and donate to school activities. And as Ms. Clark from the Women's Club of West Covina was asking for, uh, they do 25 service hours in the community. So we're trying to put together academics and service. So very proud of all of you. Uh, Nathan, Al, uh, Casera. Michaela Chung. Sergio Escobar Sanchez. Army uh, Michaela Hermogino. Melvin Hernandez. Maya Hoyle. <laughs> Miss Wilcox is making fun of me. Triana Limon. <laughs> For the first time on stage, Yucinda Lopez. <laughs> Katrina Miller. Lauren Pat. <laughs> Jessica Sanabria. <laughs> and Brianne Soriano. Our next set of awards are for academic achievement. Each department selected two students who have shown the most improvement in their content area throughout high school. And the departments also selected two students who have shown the highest achievement throughout the four years of high school. I'll call the names as our teachers. If you can guys come up, teachers, let's make a receiving line. We'll pass out the certificates. 
And again, you'll, students, as you get your award, pose for your picture and take your seat, and we'll just keep it, the flow moving. Okay. Overall improvement in math, Jacob Paredes. <laughs> Overall improvement in math, Jacinda Lopez. <laughs> and then highest achievement in math, Angel Mancinas. <laughs> and Nathan Alquisera. Congratulations. For science improvement, Viridiana Trujillo. And highest achievement in science, Justin Luke Mayorlago. And Katrina Miller. For social studies, overall improvement, Alex Lopez. And then highest achievement, Nathan Alquisera. For the English department, overall improvement, Stuart Garcia. And Mary Jane Soriano. And then highest achievement, Lauren Pate. And Maya Franco. Congratulations. And for highest achievement in PE, and Ms. Yale called it the Honorary PE Teacher Award, <laughs> LJ Pat. <laughs> for visual arts, most improved, uh, Valeria Moreno. <laughs> Nicole Ortega. Highest achievement, Eli Tate. And Natalie Berganza. And finally, for our ceramics awards, overall improvement, Sebastian Gonzalez. Hennessy Garcia. And highest achievement, Sydney Sherrod. And Tyler Nunez. Congratulations to our apartment awards. Congratulations. All right, I'm now gonna present awards for IGETSE and associate's degree completion. First, students who have completed IGETSE, which stands for Intersegmental General Education Transfer Curriculum, mouthful, completed a rigorous course of study through our dual enrollment partnership with Mount Sac College. They completed over 12 courses in specified areas. These students are ready to begin upper division courses at their college. They will wear a maroon and white cord at graduation. Nathan Alquisera. <laughs> Javier Camacho. <laughs> Nicholas Caston. 
Michaela Chung. <laughs> Isabel Inciso. <laughs> Maya Franco. <laughs> Nicholas Galicia. Army Michaela Hermageno. Melvin Hernandez. Triana Lamon. Alex Lopez. Jacinda Lopez. <laughs> Emily Martinez. <laughs> Justin Luke Mayorago. <laughs> Ethan Nguyen. <laughs> Jaden Nguyen. Jessica Sanabria. <laughs> Sydney Sherrod. <laughs> Isabella Cepeda. <laughs> Congratulations to our Getsy students. Okay, our next set of awards are for those students who went above and beyond in dual enrollment through Mount Sac College. They pursued additional courses through the special admit program to complete a total of 60 units to earn their associate's degree for transfer. We are incredibly proud of these students. They will wear maroon cords at graduation as well as stoles provided by the dual enrollment office. They will get to walk in Mount Sac College's graduation on Friday, June 9th. So, with a degree in social justice, Nicholas Caston. <laughs> and we're going to ask you stay up here for a photo all together. Another degree in social justice, Michaela Chung. <laughs> social justice, Maya Franco. Social, <laughs> for three times fast, social justice, Nicholas Galicia. <laughs> In social justice, Army Michaela Hermageno. <laughs> In social justice, Ethan Nguyen. Okay, in mathematics, Jaden Nguyen. <laughs> and last but not least, administration of justice for Sydney Sherrod. Congratulations to our students with their associate's degree for transfer. Perfect. Congratulations. <laughs> oh. 
Our next set of academic awards are for the various levels of graduation honors based on the cumulative unweighted GPA throughout all four years of high school. These students have earned the level of cum laude, magna cum laude, summa cum laude due to their hard work and dedication. They will get to wear these stoles at graduation. Our first set of awards are for cum laude for students who have earned a 3.5 through 3.64 cumulative GPA. Joseph Michael Jaime. <laughs> Luis Angel Perez. <laughs> and Brianne Amber Soriano. Our next set of awards are for magna cum laude for students who have earned a 3.65 through 3.79 cumulative GPA. Nicholas Jackson Caston. <laughs> Sophia Atiana Figueroa. <laughs> Maya Jada Hoyle. Triana Cristina Limon. <laughs> Alex Lopez. <laughs> Jucinda Christine Lopez. <laughs> Emily M. Martinez. Asrar N. Mohammed. <laughs> Victoria Celeste Ramirez. Congratulations. Our next set of awards and our largest group is for summa cum laude for students who have earned a 3.8 through 4.0 cumulative GPA. Nathan Alcacera. Stephanie Balanzar. Michaela Chung. Isabel Esperanza Inciso. Sergio Escobar Sanchez. Maya Adora Franco. <laughs> Nicholas Alexander Galicia. <laughs> Diana Isabel Garcia. Gracia. <laughs> Army Michaela Hermageno. Melvin Hernandez. <laughs> Nicole Allison Lee. <laughs> Isaac Ricardo Lickman. <laughs> Justin Luke Mayoralgo.
Katrina Alexi Miller. Ethan Vu Nguyen. Jaden Vu Nguyen. Lauren Grace Pat. Pate, Pate. Lauren Grace Pate. Jessica Elena Sanabria. Sydney Taylor Sherrod. <laughs> Annie Tran. <laughs> Isabella Zapeta. Round of applause for all our honor students. Congratulations, round of applause. Okay, we're on our last set of awards, so thank you for your patience. Our next set of awards are senior medallions. Mount Sac ECA senior medallion recipients exemplify the highest Timberwolf ideals both in and out of the classroom. A recipient is a well-rounded student who has consistently demonstrated outstanding scholarship, leadership, and school spirit, and whose integrity is beyond reproach. These students have made every effort to become fully immersed in the many facets of Timberwolf life and to make a positive contribution to enhance our community. Students were selected through an application and committee review process. I want to thank the Wolfpack Academic Booster Club for providing the medals for this prestigious honor. And so we have 11 recipients tonight. Our first one is Nathan Alquisera. Nathan has been very involved with our school's ASB, eSports, computer programming, video production, and academic decathlon. Nathan is always there to lend a helping hand to others, whether it be his peers at school or members of the community. He is headed to Cal Poly Pomona to study computer engineering. <laughs> our next recipient is Michaela Chung. Stay on stage. Michaela has been involved in peer leadership for the past two years, helping mentor students and bringing warmth to our campus life. She also is involved in Girl Scouts. Her Gold Award project was titled Dream, Believe, Achieve, where she helped address the issue of lack of motivation and encouragement for younger students by creating a mural. Um, she has also led interactive activities with the students to help encourage them to set goals and list ways to achieve that goal. She's headed to UC San Diego to study pharmacological chemistry. Our next recipient is Isabel Enciso. Out of order. <laughs> Isabel joined us in her 10th grade year, and she seamlessly wove into being a caring Timberwolf and part of our school community. Isabel is also a Girl Scout and goes above and beyond to support her community. She's headed to Cal State Long Beach to study speech and language pathology. Next, we have Maya Franco. <laughs> Maya served the following causes, community, arts, culture, entertainment, or, sorry, environment, health and medicine, and youth through being involved in many activities such as peer leadership, Key Club, and the Children's Foundation of America, serving needs of foster and immigrant youth. Additionally, she pursued her love of music by participating with the Claremont Youth Symphony Orchestra, providing free concerts in the community. She's headed to Cal Poly Pomona to study biotechnology. <laughs> Our
Our next recipient is Army Michaela Hermogino. Army has been involved with our peer leadership, always willing to lend a helping hand to other students and staff. Army's priority has always been putting others first and helping her community through volunteering in nursing homes, providing care for others in regards to their health and happiness. She's headed to Mount Sac to study nursing. <laughs> Next up is Melvin Hernandez. Melvin has been a leader on our campus since first becoming a Timberwolf. He has been an ASB for all four years and he is dedicated to student advocacy and inclusivity. He is always willing to help others in need and goes above and beyond for his classmates in school. Melvin is headed to Cal Poly Pomona to study architecture. <laughs> Next up is Isaac Lickman. Isaac has been instrumental in creating our school newspaper, The Chronicle, as the assistant copy editor. He's been in journalism all four years. He's very insightful and inquisitive, and we look forward to seeing what he will do next. He's headed to Cal Poly Pomona to study chemistry. <laughs> next up is Justin Luke Mayerlago. Justin has been actively involved in his, with his community and has volunteered in nursing facilities, church events, and more. His actions of helping others is inspiring. He is headed to UC Riverside to study bioengineering. <laughs> Katrina Miller. Katrina will always greet you with a wave and a smile. She's genuine and kind and always willing to lend a helping hand to students and staff. She's involved with our two honor societies as well as a leader on her club soccer team. She's headed to the University of Louisville to study sports administration. <laughs> and finally, Jessica Sanabria. Jessica has been involved with peer leadership and was instrumental in starting our prom dress drive for students in need of formal attire. Jessica is thoughtful and empathetic to her peers and community members. She is headed to Arizona State University to study nursing. Congratulations to all our senior medallion recipients. You may take your seats, thank you. All right, on to our last set of awards. Our last set of awards are the highest honors our school can bestow, salutatorian and valedictorian. The valedictorian and salutatorians are selected based on unweighted GPA, the number of college credits completed, and overall attendance and citizenship. These exceptional students have earned these awards due to their relentless commitment to their academic achievements. Our two salutatorians are tied with a 3.99 GPA. Isn't that crazy? Please give a round of applause to Ethan Nguyen. <laughs> and Justin Luke Mayerlago. Now our four, that's right, you heard me, four valedictorians all have a 4.0 unweighted GPA. Please give a round of applause to Jaden Nguyen. <laughs> Jessica Sanabria. <laughs> Michaela Chung. and Army Michaela Hermogino. <laughs> we 
Round of applause for our high honors. Thank you, you may take your seats. Congratulations. So in closing, students, congratulations again for earning all of these awards this evening. Thank you to our dignitaries, the Muscovina Unified School District and Mount Sac College for your support of our students. Thank you to everyone for their attendance and participation this evening. Thank you to all our staff who worked behind the scenes to make this event possible. As we conclude, please take a moment to socialize outside. There are some waters and cookies out front provided by dual enrollment, so thank you for the treats. Please socialize and take pictures. Parents, I'm sending home a, a newsletter tomorrow with lots of information about graduation. Please make sure you read it. Um, once again, congratulations, Timberwolves. Thank you and good evening. Yeah.